Gemini. This one's for you, boo boo. This one's for you, Gemini. This is your week ahead or weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Michelle at Born Without Boundaries. If you're just finding my channel, my name is Michelle and this is my channel, Born Without Boundaries. I may be the most blunt, straightforward, and hardcore reader you've ever met, but shit, yo, that's what you get when you come to Born Without Boundaries. Um, Gemini's, if you guys are on a platform that allows for commercials to break in, you can expect a commercial in a couple of seconds and then there will be no more commercials throughout the entire message. Um, I do want to say thank you ahead of time because that commercial break actually helps out the channel a great deal. So you don't have to pay a dime, you just sort of like pay it forward with patience. That's what you're giving and that's wonderful because it really does make a big difference. So for those of you who will probably, we might get a commercial, I will be back in a 30 to 60 seconds. Now, for those of you who just sat through an awkward pause, I wanna say thank you, and also thank you to the people who did sit through the, um, the commercial. Uh, like I said, I'm very grateful. Gemini, this is your weekly reading from about October 8th through the 16th of 2019, picking up on general energies for your, for your zodiac sign specifically, sun sign, moon sign, rising sign. If you have not already, please do subscribe to the channel and like this video. If you like this video, be sure to like it and share it with anybody on any social media profile you can. Um, additionally, um, if you really like this reading and you want some more, there is an extended link below. There's a link below in the description box to an extended video that is a full tarot spread and romance spread. If you're cur curious, if you're curious. All right, Gemini. Now that I've talked till I'm blue in the face, ooh, let's pick it up, pick it up on your energies. Are you guys dealing with Cancerians or somebody who's guarded with their emotions? Somebody who, I don't know, but they can also be an old soul. There's also somebody who's an old soul. They may be guarded with their emotions, but they're a gentle spirit. They're, they're, they're good peeps. It's just that they're hard to peg down. And the truth is, got to say, the truth is this, Gemini, they may not have even pegged themselves down. Like they're just people that kind of sort of go with the flow. The reason why I asked you is because turtle popped up. So this could be um, a somebody that's popped up in your life, but it could also be your mentality for this week to just let the flow go. Just let it, let it go. And I think that you guys are really, really excellent at riding the wave, if you will. You really are wave dancers in that you can, you can hit the ball, you can hit the ground running, and you could roll with the punches and you really don't and you really are able to spring back from things very easily but this sense is this sensibility is a little bit guarded there's a little bit protect yourself protect yourself emotionally this week why let's see sing your own song ah so you got people this week coming upon you that might want to start some shit or be judgmental or you could also be put into a situation, Gemini, where you are expected to sort of just, you know, ventriloquist, um, parrot, like say what other people want you to say. And that is just not your style. It's almost like you're being sort of... Oh, pushed into a situation where you feel like, where you're almost like you, your words can't be yours. You gotta watch what you say. And, or you, you're, you're made to believe you have to watch what you say, but that's a bunch of bullshit, Gemini. That's a bunch of bullshit. Always, a uh, spirit says, say what you need to say. Be yourself, sing your own song. This is a week to actually, despite any conflict coming at you, whatever that conflict is, despite that conflict, to be yourself, be very true, be very sincere, be very articulate. So in other words, your soul is yourself and you're singing your own song. So you're kind of like, you're marching to your own drum beat as well. But keep up the beat. Now we wouldn't be getting this message from spirit if there weren't gonna be challenges that come and conflict that momentum but still spirit is very loud and clear we're gonna need you to be yourself this week we're gonna need you to 
maintain that beautiful uniqueness that is you. This is also uh, speaking to um, a bird may love a fish, but where would they live? In other words, um, there's quite this sense of opposite to attract, seeing seeing somebody in your life that is very, very different than you. And it could be, like I said, a Cancerian or a Piscean. It could be Scorpio. It is definitely a water sign that just does not seem to see things the same way you do, but you can't help but love them anyway. And that's cool. It's chill. What I see, though, is there's almost this divide in focus. It's the two of you are not, it, it, it's like, it's not even, because I don't feel any emotional du duress. You know, I, I just feel that you are probably headed in different directions because you're def your focus is definitely in different directions. Um, I don't actually think there's anything bad about it at all. I just have this sense of, two people headed in in the opposite directions but it's almost like there's been a knot that's already tied so there's almost like a little piece of you that will are, are is tethered to each other while while you go into opposite directions or this could just mean that uh in terms of a specific person there's a conflict of of perspective as in the, what they're experiencing um in life and therefore it affects their understanding of what reality is and what's important is so different than what you see and what you understand. And yet there is a delight. There is a delight. Jesus, I almost feel like the two of you, how can I say this? It's like somebody that you missed. It's like two ships passing in the night because you're on such different wavelengths. And yet here is this undercurrent of this emotion. Oh, maybe it's you. Maybe it's not another person at all, Gemini. Maybe there's an undercurrent of emotion that you're guarded against. Something is going on emotionally as you, you know, sing your song out loud, pretending that everything is okay but there's this undercurrent of emotion or a sense of lack of safety, if I can say that, that you are feeling in the air. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm picking more cards for you. Clearly. almost like being trapped by your emotions this week this is okay this is a very intense week emotionally gemini there's a, a full moon in aries which could affect you in unexpected ways because it's a fiery energy and you usually feed the fire um just because air feeds fire that's why not because you are intentionally feeding a fire but because air usually feeds fire but this full moon is like it's already popping and off the hook already. So it could imply that you make people feel things this week, that there's going to be something about you that inspires a change in somebody or makes people feel something. So it could be very well you speaking, public speaking in front of everybody and inspiring with sort of a, um, um, yeah, like, like, like make, yeah, inspiring people, inspiring people or, or teaching people or sharing music with people, uh, something in front of people that is going to affect them emotionally. And you're going to be the one carrying the tune and setting the flow of how people feel this week. So that is an intense responsibility, no pressure. Um, <laughs> I know you're like, I don't know what you want. yeah, I understand. I get it. But listen, People are going to be all up in their feels about you this week. And I'm not even sure that you're going to be aware just how much you're affecting them. 
That's my thing because your focus is really on your song or your purpose or your message or, or whatever project that you're working on. You're not really focused on the emotional context this week. You're very happy. Actually, you're in a really good spot, man. Like it's like your instrument is in tune. You got it. You're good, but, but you're affecting others. We've got vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. We've got ant spirit. Time to collaborate. And this is the crowning energy is turtle energy. And then we've got the fearless and bold. I think this has to do with somebody who's older in your family. Somebody who has kind of been a mentor or maybe a mother or a father, a parent. Somebody who is sort of waiting in the wings and standing there to um, teach you. I can say this. This is somebody who has, for the most part, been there for you your whole life cared for you, cared about you, worked with you, worked on, on things with you, almost like in some way you were their project. They helped to infuse a sense of somebody who... It's almost like their energy and their dreams, they're sending on through you. And this could be you remembering them in what you're saying. In other words, you could very well be this week memorializing somebody. Or um, giving a eulogy for somebody. Um, or... Standing up for somebody, somebody standing up for, it's almost like, it's almost like speaking out or giving a speech or a speech that, about somebody who has inspired you. Yeah, this is like, this is like this connectivity of the past to the present. Somebody who has inspired you to be able to speak and, and be all that you are. Um, finding a way to, yes, yeah, they literally have been a part of your life for a very long time. Maybe the center of your work, like this would, this would be somebody that you did a, a dissertation on for your PhD or um, somebody that whose works you study all the time, books that you read all the time. I feel like it's almost like you're going to get to meet this person this week. And that's the undercurrent of emotion. That's the undercurrent of emotion. So simultaneously, this is somebody who has inspired you. I know, like I just saw something fly in front of the camera. It was weird. So and simultaneously, this is somebody who has inspired you. It's almost like they're your hero. And you could be getting to meet them this week or collaborate with them, work with them. Somebody who is a guru or an, and a sage for something that you really love. Time to let go. Claim your independence and take the lead. Okay. This is you literally, this is you literally taking over, like almost like a Gemini, you're picking up the flame. And this is what the going with the flow is, the flow of one generation to another, um, emotion. It's almost like this is a very emotional time for you. That's what this is saying. Let me flip the camera around so you can see what I'm looking at. Okay. You see, there you go. Let me push them in so you can see a little bit. 
this is your rainbow of events this week. It seems to me that you are giving a eulogy or giving a memorial service or celebrating in some way a person that you have loved and has loved you and who has helped you with your life. This doesn't have to be a parent and it doesn't have to be a eulogy. What it does, what it is, is somebody who has inspired you. You could just be paying honors to somebody. Um, like I said, giving a dissertation about uh, somebody that you studied or um, uh, giving, a, giving a, sp a talk in front of a, a wide group of people um, about a specific topic or person that has inspired you. If it, but I feel a very specific person coming through and it's almost like you're finally going to get to meet somebody that you admire a great deal and who has helped build you or shape you into the person that you are. The key to this relationship, however, is that it's time to let go, claim your independence, take the lead. This is all about basically the changing of the guards, Gemini. That's what I feel this week. It's almost like now you're the one. It's almost like now you're the parent or now you're the boss or now and not for a bad reason. This is just like the switching of the changing of the guards. Like I said, it's like now it's your watch. Uh, and now you're the one that's taking the reins and making uh, and, and making the motions to carry on the momentum. Um, it's very emotional for you this week. And it, once again, doesn't mean anything bad has happened. It means that this means a lot to you. This is a huge opportunity for you. Um, this is somebody that you admire and respect a great deal. This is an opportunity that you've worked on and waited for for a very long time. And now it's coming to fruition where you're going to become the person in the spotlight. You're going from the person who is just sort of waiting in the wings and cheering somebody on to being somebody who is in the spotlight. Now, this could this could take on any number of meanings in terms of romance, in terms of career. Um, but I feel very strongly, it's almost got this guru vibe to me because you have some very spiritual cards out here. Most importantly, the stag energy, which is essentially a, you've been very, you've been either noticed by somebody who's extremely important and who has a lot of influence and they have seen your value and understood you or decided upon you as somebody that they could hand over the baton to, or somebody that they could give this opportunity to. For those Gemini's that are looking for a career advancement or promotion, you're going, you're gonna get it, because you're standing out this week as the capable one and as the the one that people trust enough to hand something over to. Um, but I also feel that this has more to do with religion, a sense of spirituality. It's almost like becoming a shaman. It has a very shamanic feel to it as, as in this was a leap of faith for you to go down this path to begin with, but you were inspired a great deal to do so by this deep urge or just sort of almost like the soul song that was in you from the beginning of your life. And it was almost like a connection, like I said, to another generation, a generation before you that had started the pattern. So it may not have been your unique philosophy, but it's a philosophy that you picked up on and want to carry through. It's something that matters to you. This could be like, for example, if you're, you know, what was I going to say? This could also be if you're an AA, you know, going from somebody who is sponsored to somebody who is a sponsor, something as something as personal and intimate as that. It doesn't have to be like you're going to go and make a state of the union address, but it's, it's this mentality of people sort of accepting you as deserving of leadership and anything in the past that has, that has sort of made you uh, people being sort of bought you, bought your leadership into, into question or your dignity into question. That's, that's not what's going, that's not happening anymore. It's almost like, it's almost like this, they're people seeing you and recognizing you in, in, in a righteous way and realizing, yeah, in realizing that, you know, it may, maybe it could just be as simply as, oh, this Gemini isn't as bad as I thought they were. Them finally being able to see things from your perspective. Remember how I said those first two cards out were these two. It's like two people going in two diametric opposite directions not understanding each other or seeing each other or, or like they could feel each other, but they're just so different 
they didn't see uh they they it's like they were two ships passing in the night well that's not what this is anymore it's like now coming into front and center where you are um understood comprehended except it's it's like it's like you're you're not just in other words you're not just singing a song for yourself anymore. You're singing a song for a, 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 a larger purpose. That sounds too generic. Time to let go. Be fearless and bold. Time to let go. This is definitely you going into a circumstance that you have not gotten into before. Maybe it's something that you've been waiting for and probably working very, very hard on. I know, I heard it. Something that you have been working quite some time on. So you're the one that actually, it's like you're letting go of your attachment to this youthful understanding of, of following, of being a student. And now you're graduating to being the teacher yourself. That's a hundred percent what this mentality, this, this, this feeling, this vibe is today. So you're going from somebody that, that is, is youthful and young and really only has to worry about themselves to somebody who is now switching, switching everything around and, and, and leading others. I'm going to go over to, um, the other side, if you will, to Vimeo. I want to articulate exactly what what primarily this message is, is, is pertaining to. Is it just the public space and community? Is it romance? Is it career? That's what's interesting here because it, it remains very, very ambiguous as sort of a mentality, Gemini, as opposed to a, you know, a list of events. So what I'm going to go in and is dig into this mentality in tarot. Uh, over on Vimeo, like I said, the link is below in the description box. And we'll also do a romance reading over there as well. Though for you guys, it's never really hard to find romance, is it? <laughs> I'll see you there.